welcome back to my channel. My name is Yara. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're back, well, welcome back. So for today's video, I am doing a review on Mora Cosmetics. So if you want to go ahead and see my review, keep on watching. Alright guys, so for this review, I am going to be doing it on Mora Cosmetics, like I said before. Um, if you're not familiar with Mora Cosmetics, facts that I know of Mora Cosmetics, they are uh, based off California. And the way I got to meet them, or the way I was introduced to Mora Cosmetics was at the Las Vegas uh, beauty show back in April. Um, yeah, so I got to do, I got the chance to do makeup for a couple of models for Amika, which is a hair company, and while they were modeling or doing their own thing, I was shopping around and getting to know a couple companies, and one of the companies I came across was Amora Cosmetics, and um, their logo, this is what their logo looks like, they're white and black, which is something I find very classic, I love black and white, if you are familiar with my freelance business, you will know that my logo is black and white, so that was awesome. Uh, so to get into what they sent over to me, um, before I get into the video, I want to say or I want to apologize to Mora Cosmetics. This was sent to me back in October to review, and I didn't get a chance to review. Um, I had a lot of things going on in October. I yeah, it was insane. Um, so I didn't get a chance to film it, and then when I did in November, I lost a clip, and then finally I was just like whatever. Um, but I did get a chance to try the products. And I think it was great that that happened actually because when I started my YouTube channel, I always said that if I ever got sent anything to me, I was going to be honest with them and I was going to give my full, full 100% feedback on that. And that's what I'm doing today. Um, all of the products, I've tried them. I Like I said, I've tried them since October and um, I'm not going to go ahead and give you my opinion on something I don't like. So the first thing that was sent over to me was the Mora Cosmetics Calendula Facial Cleansing Tissue. Yeah, and it's 60, um, it's, it comes in 60, and the packaging is like this silver metallic wrapping, and this uh, is to soothe and relax and cleanse your face. Um, this was made in Korea, and this retails for, let's see, let's see, I have it right here. Face wipes, give me one second. Um, let's see, face wipes, face wipes retail for... Six dollars, so I honestly don't think um, it's expensive for these wipes. I've never been a face um, a face wipe for a while. I've never been into like using face wipes on my face. I usually use like a cotton swab or a cotton ball and remove my makeup with the micellar cleansing water. And I tried these face wipes, and I have to say I like them so far. Um, they haven't irritated my skin. I've talked about it in the past. I have very very sensitive skin, so I just I don't put just whatever in my skin. Um, I have very very sensitive skin, so I'm very picky with that. And um, they do have a scent though. That's my only only issue if they like if they didn't have a scent on the wipes I'd be like 100% happy with it but it does have a scent so that's my only like you know the only thing I didn't like so like I said this goes for six dollars the next thing that was sent over to me which I love I don't I honestly I don't think I'm very picky when it comes to like um like any like prepping water or like my Mac I love my Mac fix plus and this one the one from Mora comes in this box it comes in a white box and then the white box has like little polka dots and it's very very pretty and then it's cruelty free and like I said I don't know if I said it at the beginning but they are based off California um, and then this one retails for let's see makeup face let's see Yeah, the Miss retails for $15, so um, it's on the pricier side, but I personally really like it, and it actually reminds me a lot of the Smashbox, um, ooh, can stop that, um, the Smashbox, like, packaging and everything, except for this was a lot cheaper, so this is what it comes in, it comes in a clear water bottle with black leather, leather, leathers, and black letters, and then the same thing, the little black polka dots, and then there is 4.27 ounces on here, and this is Prime Plus Primer Water, a lightweight botanical infused water designed to deliver multiple benefits. Use on bare skin to hydrate and prep for makeup application. I usually apply this before and then after, but I have to say I really like this. Um, I actually, the last one that 
be sent to me I didn't finish it because it like I felt like it lasted I left it was right here and I left it this last weekend over at my cousin's house when I was doing makeup for her bridal shower um, or her bridal maternity pictures or whatever um, the next thing they sent to me over and you guys are probably gonna think I'm annoying because I'm I keep saying that I love this stuff but it's two face um, masks and I think we talked about it in the past in regards to what happened to my face. Um, this is why I have to go get a facial like once a month or every six weeks. Um, I went ahead and went to Target and you know how like the Target section has like some of the really pretty um, face masks are like two dollars and you know you're like oh my gosh they're so cheap I want to try them. They're the cucumber ones. They're um, I think they're lemon ones and I don't remember which one it was and you know I just wanted to be like oh I want to try something nice on my skin I want to do like a little spot at home and that was like the worst thing that happened to me I'm not even kidding I burned myself right here I gave myself um, chemical burn and now I have to um, I have to go ahead and go get freaking treatment on it but these face masks retail for six dollars and the back story as to what I was telling you before um, I tried these I love these I have probably used these a lot I've tried the other ones the other one that I tried the one that I really want to try is a mud mask and these are all six dollars but if you buy five of them it's five for 25 so you save a couple bucks and then the one that I really want to try is the mud like the mud mask I need to, I need to try that one but it's these two I have an Instagram little video clip whatever on my Instagram as to how I like these so um Definitely check them out. These are Snow Lotus Extract, Evening Primrose Oil, and Sunflower Seed Oil. And it's to relax, balance, and brighten your skin. And um, this one's actually made in Korea. So, yeah. Those are two that were sent over. And then I think there's one thing left. Yeah. So the last, one of the last things they sent over was the Glomy Hard um, Highlighting Palette. And this palette retails for $15. So look at how pretty this is. So it comes in this packaging, which is kind of like a gold tone. And then, you know, you have the back. And in the back, it shows you, like, it tells you, like, um, you know, that's cruelty-free, that it's good for six months, that it was made in Taiwan. Um, you know, it's to boost radiance and achieve instant luminous with four deep bronze tone highlight powders. You know, the usual or just explanation. And then it comes in a sleeve, which reminded me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, glow kits. And then you open it, and it does come in a mirror, so that's pretty cool. I can care less for mirrors, but I know a lot of people care for the mirrors. But the cool thing about this um, highlighting palette says, like in the mirror, it says, what is it? Can you see it? No, you can't. It says, make beautiful, make your beautiful destiny. So I thought that was pretty cute. And then it has four highlights. And um, I will go ahead and swatch them. So there's four of them. First one is foreplay. Second one is lap dance. Third one is lingerie, and fourth one is fetish. So we're gonna go ahead and like give them a little roll, and then that's my color. So you can already see the pigmentation on that highlight. That's so pretty. And I'm just gonna swatch it right there so you can see it. That's very pretty. Now I wonder, well, let's do that later. Then I'm gonna go in with lap down, same thing, roll it. You can see the second color, and we're going to swatch it right there. That's two. Then we're going to go in with lingerie. Same thing, roll it and pull it up. And the fourth one is fetish. I really like these, like, sexy names. There's foreplay, lap dance, lingerie, and fetish. Hmm. And then the last one is right there my swatches are probably the worst you'll ever see but hey i tried so i will go ahead and post a picture over here or over here showing the swatches for that one and like i said this retails for 15 dollars i think it's definitely worth it um i honestly don't think they're pricey their formula is very good um i do have another one so i might be doing a giveaway soon very soon actually. I was thinking of waiting till 400 subscribers, but I think I might do it in 300 subscribers. 
All right, so the next products or the couple pro the other products that I'll be showing you um, are lip sticks that I actually purchased with my own money they weren't sent to me um and then the lipstick that I'm wearing oh my gosh I love this lipstick um this is uh Malolo Malolo and it comes in this for uh, like packaging it says Moira Cosmetics and then it comes in this tube and then this retails for $12 where am I going to swatch it? Like, I feel like if I go like that, that's hard. Okay. Let's swatch it right there. And look at how pigmented that is. Like I said, this is Malolo. Malolo, number seven. The next color I want to go ahead and swatch is... Oh my gosh, I don't know how to pronounce these names. It's Udaipu. Udaipu? I don't know if you can see the name. <laughs> and this is also retail for $12. This one's matte. Like, they're both matte. This one's a little more, like, I can tell this one's more, um, like, creamy-ish uh, versus this one over here. This one's more matte. Like, definitely dries matte. That one's that one. The next one, this is a different kind of, um, uh, this is a different kind of formula. This is more creamy-ish. And this is the Lush Math Cream, and this is in Candled Pumpkin. Okay, for this one, I found a dupe, which is the NYX Soft Lip Cream in Morocco. This one's for $6.49, and this one's for $6. This one is 0 0.31 ounces, and this one is 0 0.2 ounces. So there's 4 ounces more in here, and you save about $0.49. Cents. I don't know. You do the math. <laughs> and this one's creamy I like this one I like to wear this one during the summer there's that one all right so these are pencils this is the after party matte lips in number seven which is turned and this one's red this is kind of like like a reddish tone but this is more like creamy and that one's a red one and then there is this one. This one was in uns, 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 uns. So I'm like, uns, uns. That's what it is. <laughs> because this one's after party and this one's uns, uns. Like, no joke. I get it. <laughs> uns, uns. And this one's matte. This is a matte red. I think for this color, I feel like definitely like a pinup look because this is red. But I feel like if I did do like a pinup, Viva is coming up. That's definitely a color I would use. And then the last thing that I wanted to review, this was another thing that was sent over to me. This is a more cosmetic scandal eyes, and this is a metallic duo. So on one side it's gl liquid, and on the other side it's um it's glitter. And this is what it comes in. It actually comes in like a black box. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch the liquid one. The liquid part of it. Ooh. I act like I've never tried this. I'm like, ooh. So that one's the liquid. Ooh, I look so yellow. And then for the glitter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a NYX glitter primer or whatever. That way you can see how good the, the glitter section of it is. And then as far as like the little spatula on the glitter portion of it, it's not your normal spatula. It's actually made out of silicone. Like I wish you could see it. Like it's flimsy. So there's probably like a reason behind it. Like this is probably better than, I don't know, lust waste. And then that's the glitter. Ooh, there's the glitter. So that is as far as lip swatches um so guys this was as far as the review goes i know i talk a lot i know i ramble a lot i apologize that's just who i am i promise everyone's trying to have me talk a little slower or talk a little less i just can't so let me know if you like this video if you found this helpful go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you have any video requests comment down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye